Yeah, this is getting a bit convoluted. Okay, probably this is not going to compile. Okay, it's actually compiling, except that I've introduced quite a few functions that don't exist yet. So, basically, I want to define a function is empty that takes a pixel area and returns a boolean. I need a function recognize char that hmm um, so recognize char what type what does it take it takes a pixel area and it returns basically the same time as our function so okay I've kind of um, oh no sorry made a mistake here so recognize char returns this here so what is what does that stand for that is um, that is a recognize char And an int for the length. Okay, and then we need a function skip columns, takes a pixel area, takes an int, and returns the pixel area with those columns skipped. check okay so I guess this is bool okay so actually takes an int first and then a pixel area no oh, actually I'm gonna turn it around here so pixel area then a length okay let's try uh, okay forgot to turn around here as well perfect compiles okay so if we look if we have a look here at um, recognized char then what we're basically going to do is to check the area against a list of letters. So we're going to say, okay, we're going to filter the pixel area against a list of letters. So, um, Okay, so I um, need letters somewhere, and I'm gonna say um, whether the pixel area is actually the same. So I'm gonna compare those letters against the pixel area. And then and then I will have to 
choose basically the longest of the matches. I'm actually going to um, uh, represent the letters. I've already started doing this here. Um, put them in a an image file themselves. I've already copy pasted mo many of them. So this is going to be one pixel area and I will know where those letters are in the pixel area. So actually, let's actually check if it compiles. Okay, so I have a function letter equal and I have letters. Okay, those letters, what are they about? Basically, um, there's a data type or whatever you want. I'm just going to call it match letter. And a match letter I won't bother with that for now. And then also we have the function letter equal. And letter equal takes a pixel area and it takes a match letter. And it returns a boolean. So given given a an image and a letter to check against, it actually returns whether the two are equal. Okay, against again with the boolean. Okay, and we're compiling. Perfect. Okay, so I could continue with any of these. I have a lot of data types to flash out. Let's start with the match letter. So what we finally want to come down to is that I want to um, take an image like this and an image like this and compare parts of those images for equality. So what that means is that match letter obviously has to contain um, some kind of, 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 of area or image. Um, it will also have to contain what letter we are actually recognizing. So there is a um, a record chart in here as well. And for the rest, we'll have a look later. So what this actually does is it takes a it takes an area and a letter, and it says area equal area and match area. The letter. Okay, let's see what the compilation says. It says area equal. Okay, so we define that one. Area equal takes a pixel area, another pixel area. and returns a boolean. But we are comparing uh, areas of different size, so we could take the minimum, but then if the if the source image, so to speak, was very small, then we'd very often get a, 
um, a fit even if there isn't one. So I really want to um, also save um, how many characters, how many columns um, were matched. So I'm returning a boolean and how many columns were matched. So uh, I'll leave this undefined and now I've changed the data type so we're gonna change this here uh, it returns whether it's equal and the width that was uh, matched okay let's check again if it compiles no again with the boolean Okay, it's compiling. So I have I have this here. If they're equal, then the letter matched. Um, but I really also want to check whether widths is the same as the widths of, of the letter. So we have the match area up here the pixel area and this is the image data as well as a, a definition of the the window of data that we're looking at so we really want to know what the width of this is so we're gonna say pixel width of the letter no actually not Okay, so this is getting a bit convoluted right here. Let's put this into a Okay, so what we're saying is the widths that we matched should be the same as the widths of the letter otherwise we have a partial match that's not what we're looking here for so we defined a new function pixel widths let's call it area widths okay we have to define this now it takes a pixel area and returns an int and we're compiling okay so now we have lots of data types I'm actually going to do a little cleanup right here so like my data types up on top let's see we have the match letter Resize this as well. So that we can see a little better. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Lot of functions working on pixel areas, basically all of them. Okay, where shall we start? Okay, let's say a pixel area. We said we want this to be some kind of, of image data. Um, don't really know what data type this is going to be yet. and we need to define let's say this is this whole picture here is the image er the, the pixel area and then I want to say I only want to look at this line here so basically I want to define a bounding box within the pixel area that I want to look at so for a bounding box what I need is um, 